This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at haynes.com. Open the driver's door and pull the bonnet release lever. Depress the safety catch and open the bonnet. Pull up and remove the outer section of the engine cover. Then pull the central section upwards as well. Fully apply the handbrake. Then using the tool provided in the vehicle toolkit, pull the trim cap from the centre of the wheel. Using the special anti-theft wheel bolt adapter where necessary, slacken each of the wheel bolts half a turn. Position the jack head under the reinforced section of the door sill flange and raise the vehicle until the wheel is clear of the ground. Support the vehicle with an axle stand under the reinforced section of the sill flange. Fully unscrew the wheel bolts and remove the wheel. Undo the various fasteners and remove the access panel from the inner wheel arch. Undo the nut and two bolts, then move the fuel filter assembly to one side without disconnecting any hoses. Using a spanner on the lug provided, rotate the belt tensioner clockwise until a drill bit can be inserted and the tensioner locked in place. If the belt is to be reused, mark its direction of rotation. Slip the belt from the pulleys. Locate the drive belt on the pulleys, ensuring the belt ribs are correctly located in the pulley grooves. Hold the tensioner with the spanner Remove the drill bit and slowly release the tensioner. Maneuver the fuel filter assembly into position, then secure it with the nut and bolts. Refit the wheel arch liner panel and securely refit the various fasteners. Locate the wheel over the hub, then insert and lightly tighten the retaining bolts. Lower the vehicle to the ground and tighten the wheel bolts to the specified torque. Refit the trim cap to the centre of the wheel. Locate the central section of the engine cover over its mountings, then refit the outer section, pressing it down firmly to engage the rubber mountings. Don't forget to check that the dipstick rubber grommet fits correctly into the cover. Firmly lower the bonnet to engage the catch, then check it securely closed.